नमस्ते माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मिसेस प्रीति सुनील जोशी वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन ऑफ क्रिस्टलोग्राफी वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डिफरेंट सिमेट्री ऑपरेशन इन क्रिस्टल सिस्टम्स लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन सिमेट्री एंड रिविल डिफरेंट सिमेट्री ऑपरेशन The contents include introduction, different symmetry operations. Students, uh, let us first discuss about symmetry. Now here you can see some images which are very famous and familiar to you. Please pause the video and think that which images are symmetrical and which are not symmetrical. Yes, students, you are correct. images of motorola audi mercedes benz mcdonalds are symmetrical and the images facebook and nike are not symmetrical very good now students see some other pictures image a is a wallpaper image b and c are the flowers and image d is of butterfly observe these images and tell are these images symmetrical please pause the video and think now look at this one image of day night day is this also symmetrical yes all these images are symmetrical often uh, we don't realize symmetry but we continuously live with the symmetry so what is symmetry symmetry is the consistency the repetition of something in space or in time as shown in the examples a wall uh, we can see in the wall drawing the petals of flowers the two sides of a butterfly the succession of night and day uh, so or to find out the symmetry in these objects uh, what will you have done yes you have done some operations isn't it you have done some operations now let us again look at these images we found symmetry by repetition of patterns in a wall drawing or in flowers uh, the wall drawing shows repetition by translation the flowers show repetition by rotations the flower on the left shows repetition around an axis of rotation of order 8 The second flower shows an axis of rotation of order five. In addition, each petal in both flowers shows a plane of symmetry, which divides it into two identical parts. The same as it occurs with the butterfly shown on the right. Then the last one, symmetry by repeating events, day, night, day. So, students, now how you will define symmetry or symmetrical object? an object is described as symmetric with respect to a transformation if the object appears to be in a state that is identical to its initial state after the transformation now next question comes is that why study of symmetry is required in crystallography or why we find symmetry in crystals in crystals symmetry is used to characterize crystals identify repeating parts of molecules and simplify both data collection and nearly all calculations also the symmetry of physical properties of a crystal such as the thermal conductivity and the optical activity must include the symmetry of the crystal thus a thorough knowledge of symmetry is essential for a crystallographer a clear brief description of crystallographic symmetry was prepared by robert von drury so our discussion of symmetry in crystallography should begin with a description of crystals a crystal is a solid composed of a periodic array of atoms that is a representative unit is repeated at regular intervals along any and all directions in a crystal in crystals the atoms are arranged in a periodic fashion uh, or rather periodicity of the structure is an essential feature of a crystal so these regularly repeating blocks 
are known as unit cells. The dimensions of the unit cells are described by the lengths of the three axes A, B and C and the three axial angles alpha, beta and gamma. Uh, there are many choices of repeating blocks in any given lattice. The main principles defining the lattice is that each lattice point must be in an identical environment as any other lattice point and that is and that the individual blocks in the lattice must have the smallest volume possible. And this is the reason why we find symmetry in crystals. The internal symmetry is mirrored in the external shape of the perfect crystals. So we therefore study the external symmetry. In crystallography, most types of symmetry can be described in terms of an apparent movement of the object such as some types of rotation or translation. The apparent movement is called the symmetry operation. The locations where the symmetry operations occur such as a rotation axis, a mirror plane, an inversion center or a translation vector are described as symmetry elements. Generally speaking, we can say that finite objects can contain themselves or may be repeated by the following symmetry operations that is inversion, rotation and reflection or uh, which is also known as mirror symmetry. Now let us study these operations in detail. The inverse operation occurs through a single point called the inversion center. See this image. Each part of the object is moved along a straight line through the inversion center to a point at an equal distance from the inversion center. Look at this another example uh, which shows hands uh, left and right related through a center of symmetry. Next is symmetry by rotation. A crystal is said to possess an axis of symmetry if uh, when the crystal is rotated about the axis the atomic arrangement looks exactly the same more than once during one complete revolution. In a rotation operation represents a counter clockwise movement of 360 by n degree around an axis through the object. If an n fold rotation operation is repeated n times then the object returns to its original position. Okay, so crystals with a periodic lattice can also have axes with 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 fold symmetry axis. The other types of axes are not consistent with the condition of periodicity. A 1 fold rotation operation implies either a 0 degree rotation or a 360 degree rotation and is referred to as an identity operation. A two-fold rotation operation moves the object by 360 by 2 that is equal to 180 degree. It is called a two-fold axis or dyad axis that is arrangement looks the same twice in one revolution. A three-fold rotation operation moves the object by 120 degree and the axis is known to be triad axis. Similarly, for tetrad the object is moved through 90 degree and for hexad the object is moved through 60 degree. Although objects themselves may appear to have 5 fold, 7 fold, 8 fold or higher fold rotation axis, uh, these are not possible in crystals. Crystals can only show 2 fold, 3 fold, 4 fold or 6 fold rotation axis. The reason is that the external shape of the crystal is based on a geometric arrangement of atoms. In fact, if we try to combine objects with 5 fold and 8 fold apparent symmetry, uh, we cannot combine them in such a way that they completely fill the space as shown in the figure here. Now the next symmetry is by reflection. A mirror symmetry operation is an imaginary operation that can be performed to reproduce the object. It is assumed that the object possessing mirror symmetry is cut into two halves and placing one of the halves on a mirror, the reflection in the mirror reproduces the other half of the object. The plane of the mirror is an element of symmetry referred to as a mirror plane and is symbolized uh, with the letter M. The rectangle on the left has a mirror plane that runs vertically on the page and is perpendicular to the page. 
the rectangle on the right has a mirror plane that runs horizontally and is perpendicular to the page the dashed parts of the rectangles below show the part of the rectangles that would be seen as a reflection in the mirror the rectangles shown above have two planes of mirror symmetry students now tell uh, can we consider this line of symmetry for this given rectangle please uh, pause the video and think for a minute so let us check your answer if we cut the rectangle along a diagonal and now if we cut a rectangle along a diagonal such as the labeled m as shown in the left diagram reflected the lower half in the mirror then we could see that uh, see what is shown by the dashed lines in the right diagram since this does not reproduce the original rectangle the line m does not represent a mirror plane so students note that a rectangle does not have mirror symmetry along the diagonal lines students mark the point uh, that reflectional symmetry must satisfy certain conditions uh, reflection symmetry occurs when a line is used to split an object or shape in half so that each half reflects the other half sometimes objects or shapes have more than one line of symmetry in addition to these there exists four hybrid operations they are roto reflection roto inversion screw translation and glide reflection roto reflection is a combination of an n fold rotation followed by a reflection in a plane perpendicular to the rotation axis roto inversion is a combination of an n fold rotation followed by an inversion in screw translation n fold rotation axis is coupled with the translation parallel to the rotation axis and in glide reflection a mirror plane is coupled with a translation parallel to the reflecting plane so before discussing these operations let us first understand the difference between reflection and inversion on uh, students now consider this two dimensional object and imagine it's reflected and inverted image pause the video and think for a while yes students now look at these images uh, which one is reflected and which one is inverted yes students you are correct image uh, to the left is reflected image and uh, to the right is inverted image reflection occurs along a plane whereas inversion produces an inverted image through an inversion center if we draw lines from every point on the object through this inversion center and out an equal distance on the other side so in both the cases we find symmetry congruent pairs now look at these illustrations of four hybrid operations the first one roto reflection in this object is rotated through certain angle and then reflected through a plane perpendicular to the rotational axis second symmetry operation is roto inversion in this object is rotated through a certain angle and then inverted through a point on the rotational axis then the third symmetry operation screw translation it is an operation in which a pattern is generated at regular identical intervals and look at the footprints and uh, the last one is the glide reflection it is a two step process reflection followed by translation and now look at this footprint pattern which shows translation combined with a reflection thank you